Brian in San Diego writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I've been enjoying my Aspen FR20s very much for the last three months. Great. And I've been enjoying my FR30s. <laughs> Um, thanks. Those are great speakers. Um, thanks for an excellent design effort from you and the team. Anyway, my Aspens reside in my small home studio. And since you've recently been very focused and excited about your new studio, I was wondering if you had ever come across information regarding how sound engineers create the effect of moving sound from well behind the speakers to slightly behind the listener using only a stereo pair of speakers. I know how sounds can be panned left and right. Reverb and or time delays can be used to add room acoustic cues. However, some artists like Andreas Volenweider and Roger Enno can make the music and focus sounds that surround you in three dimensions. How is that done? Uh, well, mostly that's through phase cancellation, which we don't really do here. You remember years ago, something called Q sound? Q sound was uh, Roger Waters from uh, Pink Floyd. And if you put your head directly centered on the speakers, you could get amazing sounds to the left, behind you, above you. And all of that is done through uh, phase cancellation. It's, it's, um, it's called cross cancellation. I mean, basically what happens is when, just imagine, here we are, we're listening to these speakers, right? So here, what have we got? Okay. So I don't know what you're hearing on that, but what I hear is the, the marimbas and things all the way over here and the guitars back down there, right? Behind the loudspeakers. And I hear that because the speakers, you know, are, are, are coming at me. The room is diffused properly. And I get the signal first in my left ear and then a little bit later in my right ear, right? From, if I just had the left speaker going um, and it, it accounts for my face and the time difference, my ears are able to tell that it came from that speaker first. And if you do things properly, like you were saying with changing, uh, are you know here you know you you can let's see if we can here's the guitar so it's over there now it's over there there we go and it just occurred to me i'm using a mono microphone so you probably didn't hear any of that <laughs> sorry about that anyway um but what's happening is, the <laughs> oh boy, uh, that left speaker hits me first, then comes over here. So phase cancellation, cross-coupling cancellation, puts an out-of-phase signal over there of what's in the right speaker um, and, and, and vice versa, okay? So that it cancels out what the right ear hears so, because we don't want the right ear to hear anything from the left. And by careful cross cancellation, you can look that up, that's what's going to make this surround sound thing. But you have to be very centered for it to work. And we don't do any of that. I mean, this system, Pyramix, is capable of it, but I find it more trickery than anything else. And I would rather just make something where you close your eyes and you hear musicians in the room and no tricks, no, no, no stuff like that, but okay. Anyway, um, I hope that helps. Okay, thanks, bye.